How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome to another great set of games in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition. Today I'm going to be playing two games in the AMX 50B, the French Tier 10 Auto Loading, apparently medium tank that Wargaming thinks is totally appropriate. But in my eyes it's still a fucking heavy tank because look at the fucking size of it. It's not a medium tank, they're idiots. But this thing's got a special place in my heart. I think it's better than the T-57 Heavy. I think it's better than the machine. Mm, no, it's not better than the machine. The machine has a lot more practicality because it actually has a protectable turret. Um, this thing has no armor on the turret. It's got very good ramming capability, like the machine, but it is still better at it than the machine because it's heavier for whatever reason. Um... But, yeah, this thing is, like, I think it was my second autoloader, the T-57 Heavy being the first, and I loved it ever since I got it. I haven't three-marked it yet. I'm not currently going for the three-mark on it. I don't like playing autoloader tanks a lot. It just... It, and, and this thing is quite annoying to play because, one, Artie could hit, I don't know, a ten meters ahead of you and you'll be dealt a thousand damage because of the lack of armor you have on your tank. You have auto penable 30 millimeter sides and forget about it if already hits your roof or your tank on your turret or your chassis because you're just bad things will happen if that happens so we won't even get to that. Um, it does have enough armor in the turret to deny people to pen you with hash or high explosive but not by much. Um, they can still pen you with uh, the Death Star Hesh, but not like 140, 120 millimeters of pen for the Hesh on the other tanks. Uh, what do I run on this thing? A vertical stabilizer, for one. A, a super heavy spall liner to help with rams and protecting the crew from being damaged. And I do believe, if, I, if I'm not running optics on this thing, which I should be, then I put on a gun laying drive and this was kind of a foolish mistake because I lost a lot of health here just trying to get that entire clip off but I did get the entire clip off without missing a single shot and not only do I have more than 50% of my HP gone now but uh, I also have a damaged turret and that sucks dick I'm not gonna load premium right away because I really don't feel like I need it although I very easily could because everyone else seems to, especially in the T-57 Heavy, because fucking why not. Um, this is a very good play for me because I can just pop out whenever I can and just dick into the side of all these people going up the hill. I don't know how they keep missing me here. I don't know how I missed that shot. G good on you, Wargaming. And then... Uh, <coughs> sure. I, I missed two shots broadside of the Conqueror, even though my aiming circle was the size of their tank. But sure. It's fine. Went into the dirt. Clearly my own fault. Um, I probably shot the ground, to be honest. But it is what it is. Also, if Artie dicks onto me over here, again, very bad things will happen. But I'm taking that risk because this is a very good spot for me to rack up damage. And as you can see, every 30 seconds, I dip my clip into the sides of those enemies. And there's not a lot they can do to stop me unless they focus me, which doesn't usually end up happening. I don't know what this guy's doing. I want him to move so I can put another clip into that guy. I'm like, hey, like, how about you move a little bit? And I think I fuck up his shot there and I kind of feel bad, so I'm like, ooh, I'll just move to your side guy. No, no, no problem. And then I don't have a shot anyway, so it's a completely wasted opportunity. So now I feel like a definite douchebag for just giving that little nudge. And which I am. So I'll take that responsibility. Why not? Um... Just gonna pop up here again, see if I get detected. Oh, oh, hold on. Just let me get the right footing here. And there we go. And I'm auto detected because my tank has nothing for camouflage. Can I finish off that guy? Nope. I'm going to miss magically once again because RNG hates me. I'm gonna go on the reload because I feel like they're looking at me pretty reliably in that spot now. So, and they have an Artie, so I don't want to die by him either. Uh, yeah, I just go on the full reload to get a... F if you pop out and you only have two shells in your clip, it, if you get damaged, it's not worth it to have only two shells go out. You you want a full 1,600 damage clip to go out if you're going to take the chance to get yourself damaged. So, that, that that's my mentality on it. So, there's an IS-7. 
first round bounces off, because why not? And then the next three go in, I think? Miraculously, I don't even need premium for this to go into his lower plate angled like that, which is kind of weird, but yeah, that works wonders. He got three shots into him out of four. I'm happy with that result, especially with how angled he was. That FB215B is doing work over here. I don't know how he doesn't get rushed sooner, but uh, yeah, that time is coming, and I've got standard ammo loaded yet again. Proving that you can have good games in this thing with standard ammo. It just, it feels a lot better to rely on the APCR because it is APCR. And 325 is obviously better than 258 or whatever the hell you get for pen on the AP rounds. 257, whatever. I get him tracked in place, I finish him off, and then I have one more shell in the chamber. But I'm going to very quickly go into a full clip reload because if anything rushes me now, it's either I die while putting one shell into them or I'm on the reload for four incoming shots to them, and I don't think they'll survive four. <laughs> because chances are they've already been damaged at this point in the game, and uh, yeah, I want to live because this is actually a pretty damn good game. Despite me being on less than 50% health. And am I going to kill this Super Conquer, or am I going to put the full clip into this T95E6 who's being absolutely needlessly aggressive? Mmm, okay, he's dead. Bam. And one more shot. That's a full clip into him. And he's dead because the mouse killed him. Nice. Very happy about that. And now we have an object 268 as well as a diamond back to deal with. So, to make sure that I don't bounce off or get a low RNG roll that screws me over, I'm going to uh, load premium. 325 millimeters of pen APCR fuck you rounds. So there's a 268, he's a two hit practically to me, and then this Diamondback who's gonna be over here and shoots every six seconds, sextons, <laughs> six seconds, so I need to be ready for him, and what health is he on? Full health, because why not? I'm gonna <laughs> chance one round, there's, there's another one, I'm gonna put one more round in a bam, and then do I chance another round? No, because the 268 fell back. I'm going to load another clip of APCR. Because, again, fuck those tanks for hiding in the back and doing nothing. I get that they're snipers. I almost died by Artie there. And the only reason I didn't get any splash damage on me, which would have killed me had it been any other Artie that caused splash damage, um, was because it was a British one. And it was the Tier 9, I believe, or the French one, whichever one is actually in this game. Both French and British have a lot of trouble with... Uh, Splash damage, except for the Conqueror gun carriage, obviously, but that thing's accurate as balls for whatever reason. Probably for the, because of the gun arc. Do I get to finish off the 268? No, he rushes it up top and dies by the Conqueror, but he gets one more pen in, so I can't really fault him for that. Nice full pen of damage, good for him. Um, but yeah, that's one of the best games I've ever had in this tank, and the next one is remarkably going to be even better. So... <laughs> That is combined damage. It's on par with my uh, fir uh, first place winner. Good game for this tank at 8,200 base damage. But um, was it that impressive of a game? I, I guess so. It, 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 was, it was very good. It was phenomenal. But was it mind boggling? Hmm. With the teams that I got, absolutely. But the other one's even better with combined damage. In this game, which I just was talking about, I get a combined damage of 10,000 damage, so it's going to be two masteries this time, folks, and I don't even have to lie in the preview thumbnail. Pretty funny. Um, 6,000 of it is going to be base damage, and the 4,000 is going to be spotting, because sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit, and sometimes when you risk it for the biscuit, it actually pays off instead of blowing up in your face, even if you're in a non-armored French tank like I am. Because uh, you're too fast for some of the tanks to uh, move into position to counter, and that's where they get screwed over is their lack of speed or accuracy, whatever it happens to be at that current time. So my normal route for this map is as follows. If I'm in a heavy tank, doesn't matter. The medium tank, light tank, meh, but again, doesn't matter. I never go up the middle. Because you can't fall... I mean, I guess you can fall back, but not without losing a shit ton of health. 
because if they push you back, chances are that's one or two or three tanks pushing you down, and you're just going to get penned three times before you get out of the way of their shots, unless they get to focusing on somebody else also retreating. But, yeah, you can get free shots on quick mediums or light tanks uh, going across the middle, like right here, up that hill, if they try to spot your team early on. Um, you can also go the way I'm going in a medium tank. If you're really fast, you can go up the left side over here and quickly dick on any mediums, although the problem with that is when you're in where he is, their already can dick on you for at least like a thousand damage if they direct hit you, and it's just, it's very risky because if their already is paying attention, you will get dicked on and you will lose a big chunk of HP, and sometimes it's not worth it to take that risk, but right now... I'm thinking it's worth it, because one, there's one of their tanks already dead. <laughs> wow. GG, <laughs> kid. W w well done. <laughs> that shit barn just fucked his face right up. And there's an M103, there's an Andre the Giant tank, and I'm looking at the M103 like, ooh, I can probably get a full clip off on you by tracking you. I shoot him once in the ass end, I try to track the Andre the Giant tank, luckily it still goes in in his ass. And then I get another free shot into the Andre the Giant tank because he's also backing up with the M103 for some reason. And then my team absolutely punishes their uh, stupidity. But yeah, at any point I could have gotten Artie there. You see the Artie shooting there and missing. M103 is still looking towards me for whatever fucking reason and my team is punishing him accordingly. And what happens here? I'm still reloading. I want to go for the Ram, so that's what I decided to do. And uh, I'll take some more free damage. I, I'd say that was a pretty good trade. I got a little bit more damage there, and I only did a little bit to myself, and that spa liner helps a lot, along with controlled impact to further decrease the damage. I, I'm just pushing my teammates out of the way because I'm afraid Artie can dick on me again. But in actuality, he was probably still reloading, but don't quote me on that. Um, that 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 heavy tank is dead. The, the Moitian, I do believe he gets... Uh, shot by this conqueror one more time and yep nobody missed a shot on that guy <laughs> armor is a myth and then here's a tier 9 Chinese tank I'm going to take my time and aim into his lower plate because that that's the only reliable way I'm going to pen him and down he goes so I'm on the reload what do I do I've got view range I've got everything I need I've got speed let's make a push to this because why not they both shot at the Conqueror, he lost a shit ton of health, I want to make sure I can get to this cliff before they reload again, and, or have t the time to focus me down of all the other friendly tanks behind me, and then while I'm doing that, I'm also making sure I'm the closest one to the enemies getting spotted, therefore maximizing my spotting damage potential. Jesus Christ, what a mouthful. But... Yeah, this grill, I knew I was going to get penned, or he was running the other way. I decided to take the risk on getting damaged by just dealing with him here. He fixes his track. What an idiot. <laughs> well done. The only thing you're doing is adding to your repair bill, kid. Well, well, well fucking played there. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I make him a single, uh, a single mistake. Except for risking all that spotting damage. But I very easily could have got dicked on there. But at the same time, the enemies make a mistake. I get even more spotting damage there because it gets dicked on by, like, three of my tanks. Oh, so funny. So funny that I managed to wreck up that mush just because I crossed when I did. But yeah, I was very fortunate. They should have shot me. They didn't. And uh, that was their mistake, and I punished them for it. So that's pretty cool. I get spotted behind me because there's a super heavy VK4502B slowly trolling along sure Let, let's go with that terminology because that sounds right um, I'm afraid that they're going to try and cap the base I've got standard ammo loaded yet again much like in the previous game and I'm thinking to myself what's the biggest threat I can remove HP wise here okay they just took out the Valor he's not really too big of a threat unless he's hull down the Chinese heavy tank the, the newly released Ke Keelin I think is what it's called um, he has high alpha, I want to get rid of him, and also the 705A is a big threat to me as well, just because of its trolley Russian armor, and who's in the back? It's the fucking Chinese tank. And, like, how did I bounce that, game? 
can you fucking show me the mathematics and bullshittery you used to dick me over there? This is this is something I'm really proud of. I track him first, okay? He starts to get dicked on. He fixes it, wait for it, and then I retrack him. I probably shouldn't have got the retrack there just because of where I shot him, but I did, and then he gets dicked on by Artie, and I get all of his remaining HP pool. That was huge, especially on the Chinese tank as well. And what am I going to do? I'm going to load premium because remember who I saw following me from behind? It was that super heavy VK4502B. And why am I loading premium? I can't pin his lower plate reliably, but you know what I can do? is track him in place while the rest of my allies catch up and also get a few free shots into his turret. So hey, why not? He's going to shoot me? Yep, of course, naturally it's going to go in because on the run, of course, it, it's my tank. So it's going to hit me and I'm going to put two free shots into his turret, almost bouncing that second shot into his turret, but not quite. He gets right on trucking along towards me again. Does he put another shot into me? No. I'm going to put a free shot into his equalized lower plate and then the Conqueror finishes him off and I make a nice giant chunk of damage happen in this game in a very short amount of time, relatively speaking. And that's 10,400 damage. Almost 10,000. Oh my god, it's 10,500 damage. Hell yeah. Wow. Great fucking result there. Whew. But yeah, as you can see, I'm only at 87.76 or whatever the mark was there. I landed 15 out of my 17 shots fired, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, yeah, just a great set of games overall. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you liked what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I hate saying this last part, but whatever. Thank you for the continued support, and I'll catch you next time.